This is Jasper from Amsterdam Vintage Watches and today we're gonna discuss about the 10 things you didn't know about Rolex. We lined up some points that you probably didn't know about Rolex. Starting off with a watch I'm wearing myself that you probably didn't know it exists. It's a Rolex space sweater. You've never heard of that model. It's a regular 1016 Explorer. However, it was produced for the Japanese market in a very, very small batch. Only a handful are known, making the watch very valuable as well as very desirable for the real big time collectors. I'm so sorry the watch isn't for sale at this point, but I'm very happy to show you this piece. And it's the first thing that you didn't know about Rolex, but it's not included in the following 10 points. Point number one of the 10 things that you didn't know about Rolex is the Oyster case. 1926 is a very important date. The introduction of the very first water and dust proof casing for a wristwatch. Very special for Rolex. And afterwards, all their watches were guaranteed waterproof until 100 meters. Point number two is the Rolex Clockmakers 4. So it's about the dial design that Rolex uses when they do the Roman numerals. Instead of using the normal quotation with the IV, they use four I's. This is mainly because it brings well-balanced dial designs and that's the sole reason for this feature. It's only aesthetically pleasing and it has no practical function whatsoever, but it's very interesting to see. Point number three, it's about the production quantity of Rolex watches. There are no clear numerals about the productions. However, there are believed to be 800,000 pieces coming out of the Rolex factory every year. It's very special for such a large quantity to maintain the very, very crazy quality that Rolex is very known about. Our next point is very interesting to know also to stop and prevent counterfeiters. The clasp logo isn't symmetrical the left side of the decoration isn't equal to the right side of the decoration check out this picture it's very clearly shown pointer number five is about the metals rolex produces it's very interesting to see that is the only watch factory that houses their own metal foundry for example, they have their very well-known steel, stainless steel 904L, but they also patented a rose gold alloy called Everose. And this is very special and unique about Rolex as well. Another funny fact is about the Swiss made company, of course, Rolex, founded by a German, Hans Wilsdorf and Mr. Davis, a British guy back in London. And it's very interesting to see where the name derives from. It's actually, basically because it looks very nice on the dial and it's a short word, it's easily pronounceable in many different languages, just like the camera company Kodak. Now we, we are here to bust a common misconception about Rolexes being made by machines. A lot of parts are being crafted by machines. However, all the watches are hand assembled and they actually bring the quality and the care about the manual procedure that you expect from a luxury brand like this. In the history of Rolex, they survived the top of the world, Mount Everest in 1953, as well as the deepest lows. And we're talking about the Mariana Trench in the ocean and this all without ever losing a second. That's Rolex quality for you. So actually, Rolex made quartz watches. Of course, the very famous sweeping second hand by Rolex that we can find on their mechanical watches is familiar and beloved. However, they were the very first in 1970, one of the very first in 1970, introducing the Il Texano with a quartz movement. Furthermore, they produced an interesting model called the True Beat, which has the dead seconds, but is a mechanical watch. So it's true that Rolex did make powered and movements powered by batteries. Pointer number 10, last but not least, and it's probably something you already know about, that vintage Rolex make a good, good investment. Back in 1981, the average price for a Rolex model was 900 euros. 
and 10 years later it was already 2350 euros making vintage rolex very valuable and interesting also investment wise so i normally end with this quote but i wish to say it already the best day to buy vintage watches today because every other day it will be more expensive thank you all for watching these 10 pointers please let me know which of them you knew already or if you have any additional information about rolex that probably i or the other viewers didn't know yet and I really appreciate the support on YouTube. Please let us know if you like the video and what you like us to do next. Furthermore, I wish once more to say to you, the best day to buy a vintage Rolex is today.